Alright, so, uh, <gasps> welcome back. As you can see, I accidentally went in to check for stuff. I actually fell off immediately. I don't know how I got past that. That totally should have been going off. Somebody's upset about it. Somebody in this building, too? Yep, there's somebody in this building, too. Well, you can't say I'm not thorough. Actually, you could, because, I mean, I completely missed that. I'm trying to find my way in, young lady. Young lady. And this isn't a usable door. There's a lot of places that are not easy to get to. Or can I knock this down or something? No, it's not even acting like it's collision detecting. I mean, there's got to be some way into these buildings, right? They wouldn't... They wouldn't put people up there and then make it impossible to reach, would they? Bethesda? Would you? Is that something that you would do? It's horrible. Alright, well... We're skipping it. I did find something good in this corpse that's making a lot of noise over here. Let's run away from that noise. Man, how do you get up there? There's definitely people up there. Or at least one. One person up there. Oh. Yo, what up, big guy? Now, does he have friends? Yes, he does. Good boy. Good boy, dog meat. Come on, come on. There we go. Don't growl at me, you're supposed to be growling at them. Silly dog. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Did I miss that dog, or did he explode or something? Somebody knows I'm here. Hello, is anybody in here? Anybody? Anybody? Hello? There you are. Oh god. Not cool, guy. Not cool. Catching me on fire and junk. And again, I don't know how to get up to him. Guys, tell him, tell me in the tell me in the comments. Do you want me to hunt people down when this stuff happens or do you want me to continue with the story cuz I'm always torn. I'm like I want to make game progress, but I don't want to pass up any free entertainment either, you know. 
I'm sure, lady. I'm sure. I'm trying to oblige you, but I'm having trouble, honestly. No, I don't. Like if this was a door, I'd go in it, but it's not. So how do I, how do I pursue? I guess I would need to go through this building, which is probably, it probably doesn't have an entrance to it either. I've seen a definite pattern of them being jerks to me. Bethesda, why are you being jerks to me? Why won't you let me in to these places? Put snipers up there, but you can't can't give me access to them. Jerk move. Continuing on. Lady, you're lucky. You lucked out today. What is this? A stairway to a wall? That was a bear. Or a Yagua. Yagua. It's one of those somewhere over there. It's good to know. Oh! What up, bear? He dead? He's dead. What are you doing inside the city, bro? You shouldn't be in here. This is an odd thing to come across. Um, a little bit taken back. Oh, hey, there's a garage. Anything in these? There could be. There could be. Dang it. Come on, yes. Sweet. Sweet indeed. Nothing I need, though. The one that was unlocked had actual useful things. <clears throat> isn't that... Isn't that just something? I got my flashlight on. I am just like the perfect target for anybody right now. Anybody want some decent loot? I'm right here. I'm right here. Bring it on. Man, these things freak me out. See them out of the corner of your eye and you're just like... Dude. Dude. Not funny. Oh. Whoa. Are there more of these dudes around? Because. Yeah, and I should be very careful at the side of that. Yep. There are more of them. Are they in this mass fusion building? 
Which that would make sense. It's like a place where radiation would come from. Oh, he's below me. Someone there. Right downstairs. Look, I hear something. Ah, Garrett stuff. Noise. I hear something. All right. Does he have buddies? Uh, nothing. Come on out. got to use my stealth as well as I can in this situation because once he starts running around I'm not going to have a shot. Oh yeah. Yes. What? Who's there? Who's there? Hey, you just appear. No fair. <laughs> he had a friend. Okay, let's switch back to this until I hear or see another one, because I think it was just the two. I believe it was just those two. The other one I shot fell. I guess he fell. I mean, unless he just dissipated into nothing. Well, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Yeah, this is right next to the town center thing. They must have respawned. Because I cleared this place out once. Which means that there's probably another one right on the other side of this wall. If this is where I'm thinking it is. No, this is slightly different. Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm not gonna hang around to find out. Let's keep headed this way. Okay, I'm going to Good Neighbor. I didn't realize that that's where it said. I mean, I knew that. I knew that all along. Because they told me. That's why I marked it on my map, of course, of course. Let's pretend like I actually knew. So am I taking it to that doctor lady, I wonder? Looks like it. <coughs> she seemed to have a handle on things. Yeah. To the memory den, yeah. You know what? I never talked to old What's-His-Face. Maybe I'll have a talk with him. Right after. Looks 
like we got doing this. Freak just won't fit anywhere else. Drifter. That is weird. Putting a mannequin in the yes. toilet to watch you go. Smell that. It's very weird. These guys are freaky. Freaky deaky. Got some mood lighting going on in here, honey. Whoop, whoop. Oh, enjoying yourself a good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? Sure is, lady. Sure is. What's that? Journal? Textbook. Burnt textbook. Let's just have a look around. You never know where you'll find something interesting. I'm kidding, they won't let me have it? Okay. Let's talk to this lady. Hello, Dr. doctor. Mark. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. It happened. Um. I found Virgil. He has a way inside the institute. But I need a code from a courser chip. A courser chip? Uh huh. You fought a courser. Sure did. Oh yeah, no. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But Just look at it. People who might. I uh. work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking institute security. They're called the Railroad. The Railroad, huh? I've they heard of them. since escaped the institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. Yeah, I already know where they are, actually. In my secret club, the code phrase is just two words. Awesome and neat. Yes, <laughs> well, that's not going to help you here. But I'm sure someone with your creativity will be able to figure it out. Yeah, I actually know where I'm going now. I saw their signs, like, episodes ago. In some place. Oh, Nuka. Eh, I guess I can't take anything without stealing. What's through this door? You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Excuse me. Good what neighbors up? crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. The Silver Shroud. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. Mm -hmm. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. <laughs> Uh, Sounds familiar. Yeah. You remember him if you heard his show. They're the best detective shows in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give oh. the rest of us a symbol of something better. I got some stuff for you. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work... I still need the most important piece. The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they I actually got it. got one here in Boston. Uh-huh. They made it for the TV show. Yeah, they did. Help? I might do it, if you make it worth my while. When you're done, I got a reward all squared away. Will you just help me out? Mm -hmm. As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia He didn't too? sound surprised. Something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. 
What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. First the reward, then I'll give you the costume. Here. I wasn't going to Welsh on our deal. After yeah, I just got to make sure. Years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just... Oh, I had the problem. script too? I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or... or hmm. Butler Jarvey Blake. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? Oh, boy. Just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. No, I haven't. Oh. Why me? No one else would help me find the costume. Even though it sounds crazy, you can't. The whole world's fallen. Fallen hard. We gotta fight to make the place better. So you in? What'll be required in order to do this? Ah, uh, screw it. I get to be the shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you control good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Do I have to wear the costume? <laughs> That's actually decent stats, but I still... Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the silver shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! <laughs> I wouldn't expected that. I can I tell you, I was not expecting that. Did he give me my reward? Hey, buddy. Kent. Just listen to the radio station, Shroud. He gave me the costume, but... Oh, yeah, he did. It was like 125 caps or something. Which, honestly, is not all that much. I could find more looting raiders, but... You know what? It's fine. It's just fine. And I didn't get to clear my inventory. That that costume is still in there. Ah. All right, let's go and try and talk to Hancock. I feel like there was something. There was something I was supposed to talk to him about. I just forget what it was. Oh, Hancock. You guys need some. Okay, you now guys need some more here. light in here. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. I do what I want. Oops. I think I just went out on the balcony. What in the heck? Okay. Not the balcony. So I guess old Hancock's upstairs. Probably. Probably upstairs, yes. Here he is. A new player in good neighbor. Hello. Hello, little palm. You're kinda Welcome pretty. Fun and games. A little bit. It's kind of seductive sounding. All right, moving on. Too what up? Too bad about Finn. miss the next super mutant attack rules round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these like wild tears. I was young. <laughs> Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, it was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rats, maybe? Oh, who knows? Junkie, you could have gotten yourself killed. I like to think of death as the ultimate drug trip. When it happens, I'll be too busy enjoying it to have <laughs> regrets. Now, if you're done laying judgment down on me, is there something else I can do for you? 
Mm. Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that Good Neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, won't we talk about your needs? What did you come here for? So you don't actually know anything. Why does the Institute replace people? Hell if I know. Mess with people's heads, control us from the shadows, or maybe they do it just because they can. No one knows where the Institute is, what kind of people they are, or why they've decided to engineer their own slaves. There it is. Just to be clear, everyone's welcome and good neighbor. I don't care if you're a synth, ghoul, or even a super mutant, so long as you play nice. And let me tell you, since why do they keep changing the camera? Control, don't play nice. Done talking about this. What else you need? Ah, uh, nothing. My goodness, dude's all up on that stuff. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Hey. We didn't get to the top of this town by playing fair. Okay. Thank you. Talking you again later, sometime, maybe. And this must be the balcony. And then I'm wrong again. Wouldn't be surprised. Nope. Oh, okay. I don't know nothing. So you know nothing. You know you know nothing. Absolutely nothing. Glad he let me know that. Well, all right, everybody. We're gonna call that another episode. Uh, next time, I'm gonna do some more hunting. Try and figure out. What's up with this chip? Get down to the the needy greedy. So, you know, like and subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will talk to you next time. Be good.